Hey, Clayton Bates here, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a new arrivals collection for your Shopify website. In this series that we're making, follow along because I'm making heaps of training videos. Also, I'm actually a registered and authenticated Shopify expert. Most people on YouTube aren't actually Shopify experts, even though they say it, but I'm actually authenticated by Shopify and hundreds of millions of dollars have went through the websites that I've built. Uh, so with that being said, let's get into it. I know your time's va uh, precious and valuable, so let's do it. So when you're in the back end of Shopify, you just want to click products. Then you want to click collections here. If you want a more detailed video going through all the different types of collections, I'll leave a link as the first link in the description that will go into more detail. But if you just want to know how to do a new arrivals, this is how create a collection in the top right. Then we want to write new arrivals like that we can put a description here if we wanted to like this this section works a lot like a word document i'm thinking about making a very detailed video on exactly how descriptions uh, work throughout shopify uh, so if you want me to do that leave a comment below and i can do that i normally don't recommend having a very long description here because especially on a mobile phone there's going to be a lot of content uh, when someone first lands on that collection page uh, so it's very important that uh, they can get to the products fast now for new arrivals i don't think you most people watching this would want to have manual collections where you manually add new arrivals into the collection some people would uh, if you want to do that the other video in the description will help do that i'm going to just show you how to do automated so if we click automated we click here for inventory stock is greater than zero what this is going to do is going to pull, pull all the inventory uh, that is in our website into the, into this collection only the ones that have inventory if you want to have ones that are sold out as well you just want to add another condition is equal to zero so it's all the sold out stuff is going to go here and then you want to products must match any condition because all conditions will want to pull both conditions and then it won't work normally i recommend not doing this one where the sold out ones go there but if you only have one or two things sold out out of 20 100 or something that's fine it will actually help conversions that way but if you have 100 products 50 are sold out it's going to look really bad uh, when there's quite a lot of sold out stuff it won't look bad it'll just make it harder for someone to find something to actually buy so you don't want to annoy people sort of thing. So it really depends on the situation you're in on how to set up this one as well. Uh, the search engine listing, this is basically how I look on Google. You can edit it here. If you want a more detailed video on how to do the SEO and stuff, if enough people leave comments in the videos that I've made, I'll make a video on how to do that as well. It just is more in detail on how to do this properly and stuff. So that's why if enough people want to do that, I'll make that video. Uh, this section here is all the places you want this collection to go. So online store, points of sale, shop, um, all your other channels will be here if you have some. You can add an image as a banner um, depending on how it looks on your website. 80, 90% of the time I recommend not having an image, a banner image for your collection page. The main reason why is that on a mobile phone, it's going to take up more room. So if you combined a banner image and the description, it's taking up probably a whole screen on a mobile phone. And on a lot of the collections, when someone goes there, you want to make it super easy so they can get to the products because if they're going to that collection, uh, they already sort of know what's going on sort of thing. Uh, but you can add an image if you want. Like I said, some circumstances, it makes sense to have an image, some it doesn't. And then you press save here. Then the last thing that we have to do is just scroll down here. We'll see all the products here. We have to click sort and then click by newest. And then what it's going to do here is arrange it by the newest. You could do manually if you wanted to, and then click and hold these dots and sort it how you want. Um, but if you do newest, it's just automatically always going to do it here. Now, sometimes in the fashion niche, or there's a few different niches, uh, they'll actually want to sort the newest themselves but the problem there is people forget and then say summer this time and then they go to summer next time and they add new products they forget all their new products are at the bottom sort of thing 
Um, so it really depends on how you want to do it. Now, another thing that people might want to do is remove a gift card out of this collection because a lot of people use bestsellers and new arrivals as section blocks on their homepage. And if you use this newest, newest one and the, and the gift card was the newest one, it's going to display on the homepage. A lot of people don't want to focus on the uh, gift card being displayed on the, on the homepage. So what I normally like to do is add condition, product title, Uh, does not contain gift card. And then if you wanted to do, um, I'll just delete them. So if I did it now, it's going to pull every single product here, except the ones that have gift card. So if we refresh, it should work. Sometimes it takes a few seconds, but now it's removed it. But um, if you wanted to remove the sold out stuff you would have to add another condition as well so you could do inventory stock is greater than zero and then change this to all conditions so now it's trying to pull two different conditions so it has to have more than zero stock and it can't contain gift card and then it'll go there so that will work that's it by now you should have a new arrivals collection so you can press view and open it here and it's got all the new arrivals sorting by new arrivals uh, like i said there's a more detailed video about collections in the description first link uh, if i end up making a video about seo and stuff like that that will be the second link or just leave a comment and i'll and i'll add it for you as well um, hopefully that helped and until next time follow along because i'm making heaps of videos i've made like maybe 30, 40 videos by now that I'm slowly updating to YouTube. So follow along and you should be able to learn how to build a, a pretty decent Shopify website. Until next time, talk soon. Bye.